Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about what you can do in case you cannot add an account in Windows 10 Mail. You receive an error code 0x87490 and of course you're not able to add the account that you want in your Windows 10 Mail app. In this video, I'm going to show you a few steps and a few advices that you can try in order to fix this issue. So as I've said, you go to the Mail app, you click on Add Account and you will be greeted with an error. In this case, I don't get that error, but I will show you what you can do in case you get that error. First of all, you can open up the start menu and then click on the settings icon, then go to apps, and then make sure you're in the apps and features section. Scroll down to find mail and calendar, then click on advanced options, scroll down a bit, and click on reset. Then again on reset. So basically, this will completely reset your app. As you can see here, if this app isn't working right, reset it, the app's data will be deleted. So any other settings that may have caused that problem are now gone. You completely resetted the Windows 10 Mail app and calendar. Another thing that you can do is to go to the Microsoft Store, click on the search box and type in here Store, click on the Microsoft Store, click on these three dots in the right hand side, click on Settings, and make sure you have in your Microsoft Store update apps automatically. So when there is a new version out of Windows 10 Mail or the Windows 10 Calendar, you will be automatically updated. And also search for the Mail app in the store. As you can see, you have the app here and see if it has any updates. In this case, it has. So as you can see, the product was installed, but I had an update. So now I'm downloading the update and I should be up to date with the newest version of the Windows 10 Mail app and calendar. And lastly, if this didn't work, what you can do is to open up PowerShell as administrator, right click on your start menu and then click on Windows PowerShell as admin. On user account control, click on yes. And here in the Windows PowerShell, you're going to have to copy and paste in this command that you'll have in the description down below. Get it from there, then press enter. Wait a bit for the process to be finished and you should be good to go. Basically, this command will completely reinstall the Windows 10 Mail and Calendar app. So these were some quick fixes to this problem. If this video was useful and you managed to fix the problem, make sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.